if you don't know what I'm saying. Fit for an autopsy, baby. They're back. They're here to save 2024. And you know, 2024 has been good. Okay, don't get me wrong, but maybe save the summer of 2024 because it's been hella quiet, hella quiet, but we are hearing a lot of bangers on this stream specifically, but Fit for Autopsy are a goaded band. One of the best deathcore bands right now. And the thing is, even calling them deathcore doesn't even seem to be doing it justice because they're more than that. I'm so stoked for Hostage. That's all we need for Chit Chat. So fuck Hostage. doing the good gear screams, right? Oh, rift transition. Tap, tap, tap. Like I'm a sugar kind of solo here. Oh, oh, the runs, the runs. This part sounds so prog metal. Oh, whoa. Counting was a really fast, actually. Give me more! The eye wants more! Come on. 
I know it's going to end, but come on. Never would think that one of my favorite bands is a deathcore one. Again, because they're more than just a deathcore band in a way. I guess this song was a little bit more... Well, no, the cleans. I guess cleans and deathcore is becoming way more accessible, but let's talk about it. 8.9, 8.9, 9.5, whoa, 9, 8, 8.3, 8.5, 8.5. Damn, damn. All right. Fit for Autopsy, man. Once you've heard like a album from them, they kind of like don't vary their sound too much rather than just focus on what's working for them and just hone in on that. And what's working for them is just, again, monstrous, heavy tracks, like modern metal sounds and tones that aren't too trendy with like effects and pitch shifters. It's just to the point kind of metal. And it's focused again around these monstrous emotive vocals, but they still have technical moments, which is something that I always liked about this band. And uh, the technical moments really came from the song structure and how everything was pieced together. But also a lot of the guitar moments were really prominent here. The song was all about the tapping, I feel like. Tap, 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 root. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tapping. Just tap it in. But seriously, the riffs in this were sick. It's always been a distinct thing about Fit for Autopsy. Um, and then the vocals. Again, Joe was an incredible vocalist. As expected, he just was probably my favorite part next to the tapping riffs in this song, where the chorus really elevated the song when he was singing out Hostage, just evoked a lot of emotion too. Awesome, awesome song. To be honest, this Fit for Autopsy song for a brand new single off an of upcoming album didn't really like blow my mind too much. It feels quite similar to like their previous stuff, which, you know, it's not a bad thing, but it didn't really do anything to like, whoa, oh my God, it sounds like Fit for Autopsy, right? Except for Joe's cleans, because they sounded more clean, like if that makes sense. His singing is just more prominent in this song. It could be a little bit polarizing to the deathcore community, but I thought his cleans and the chorus were a big standout. And something that was a little bit different for Fit for Autopsy. So, sick song, but I'm going to rate this at 8.2. And that is my th thoughts, my thoughts for Fit for Autopsy Hostage. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. So, comment down below, spice up my life. Guys, what did you think about this song? I'd love to know. Also, if you've gotten to this point in the video and clicked off, then I appreciate you, man. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave a like, enjoy the video. Also, comment down below, fit for a hostage. And if you do, then that means you watch the entire video. And I'll know so it hurts your comment. But on that, stay tuned in. Until next time, peace.